I feel dull saying it, but I'm basically okay with Ontario's announced approach to legalizing pot. They're going to control it with standalone sales outlets run by the Provincial Liquor Control Board. My own main concern is the danger of uncontrolled strains. Those of us who go way back with marijuana may have missed the arrival of far more potent versions, some of which may especially damage the young whose brains are still forming and who are going to use. This sounds like a good start at keeping tabs on that. Right now, Ontario growers are very proud to grow this product, and they want to be legal. But if the government continues to criminalize the activities of peaceful cannabis growers and sellers, the government is to blame for all of the prohibition problem. I'm fine with putting the profits into the public purse instead of private business people. It's not as if we don't have unfilled public needs here. The new jobs will all go to unionized workers, which meets another responsibility of government, jacking up the levels of income, not just employment, in an era of rampaging inequality. Critics say they're going too fast and the number of outlets won't meet the need compared to booze. I think they're missing the online element of ordering pot. Has anyone heard of Amazon? Alcohol is from an earlier age of retail. Besides, on social issues, once you've got the principle right, I like the idea of going slow versus fast. I feel that way about assisted suicide. There are risks lurking in these areas. Activists who've put in worthy years on their causes sometimes feel no progress is better than slow progress, as if it's all or nothing. But Medicare happened gradually and piecemeal, and it's still unfolding. That's not a bad model. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.